So Androids have a lot of security features already built in, and depending on which Android phone you have, you really probably don't have to worry about viruses or anything like that at all. But I will tell you, if you do think you have a virus of some sort on your device, there are a few things that I would recommend doing to basically remove these viruses or malware or anything like that from your particular phone. Now, the first thing I'd recommend doing is to keep your phone as secure as possible. And you can do this by basically going through and keeping your phone up to date in terms of the software experience. If you have a very, very old Android phone on like Android 6, well then chances are, you know, that's not as secure as something like Android 14. So I would recommend either upgrading your phone or updating your software to the most recent version of software. So make your way over to your settings application of your Android phone, scroll down until you basically see system or get into your software update panel on your particular device. And then all you're going to want to do here is click on system update and basically update your phone. This by far is probably one of the most important things you can do to basically go through and update, you know, to basically keep your phone as secure as possible. So just go ahead, update your phone, and that is probably one of the more important things you can do. Now, on the same vein, you should also go through and update your applications. If you're rocking like super old, outdated versions of your apps, that means that you could be, you know, at risk of getting some sort of virus or some sort of malware, some sort of problem or glitches on those applications. So make your way over to your Google Play Store just like this. And what you're going to want to do here is you want to go ahead and essentially find your update panel. So click on your profile icon right here, click on manage apps and devices and find your update panel so you can just click on manage and you should be able to find the applications that need updates like on update available. Go ahead and update your applications and that's another thing you can do to secure your apps. Now, if you really think you have some sort of virus or some sort of issue on your phone, realistically speaking, the only main thing you can do in my opinion is to actually factor reset your phone. To fully completely remove any malware or any viruses from your device, that is basically the main way to do it. But I will tell you, depending on your issue, you may not even have a virus on your phone. So I would just kind of explain to you, like, if you see that your phone is like maybe installing a random application or you're getting sent to random weird texts or, you know, if something like or something kind of weird is happening, but it's not anything crazy, then you probably don't have a virus. But if you're noticing like credit card information is like your, your credit cards are being used, your bank account situation is like people are withdrawing money from your bank or like, or if your phone is like on the table, but it's randomly like being moved, like if the, you know, it looks like somebody's using it, but nobody's actually using it, then you should probably factory reset your phone. So first of all, back up any data that you can. That's not like an actual just Google one you know, cloud backup. So manually actually go on your PC, send yourself all the photos and videos that you have on your phone, back up everything there. You can back up your messages if you want, back up every single piece of information you have on your phone that you can. And then after you do that, after you back up everything, you want to go ahead and basically go into your settings application and you want to factory reset your phone. So you can go down into a system, I believe. You want to go down into reset options and you want to erase all data, which is going to be a factory reset. Once you factory reset your you know, particular phone, that's going to be probably the better thing you can do. And that's probably the main way you can go ahead and remove these viruses from your particular phone. So that's basically the main way to do it. If you have any other thoughts or questions, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that me so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out to all of them.